In this video, we'll talk about inheritance. Now, what exactly inheritance is, let's say we have a class called as, let's say, add. And in this class add, we have a method called as, uh, let's say, sum. So, we'll say public, public void sum. Now, what this method sum is responsible is, it is responsible to add two numbers. Now, when you say you want to add two numbers, first we require two variables. We'll say first variable is now one and second variable is num2. So now we have two variables and the result of this addition will be stored in result. So now we have three variables num1, num2 and num3. Now if you want to implement uh, this sum method, what we need to do is we'll say first we need to assign the values. To assign values we need to go to the main function or your main method. Uh, to, to use this variable, since they are instance variable, we need to create object or we have to instantiate the class add. How to instantiate? We have to use a class name and we'll say obj equal to new add. So once you got the object, you can say it's obj dot num1. So we need to say assign the value for num1, which is let's say 5. And we'll say num1, uh, obj dot num2 and the value for this will be 4. Now uh, I want to sum. I want to add those two numbers. Now to add, what we can do is we can use a method called as sum. In this sum, I can simply say it is result is equal to num1 plus num2. Okay, and the default value for result will be zero. So in case if you if you fail to add these two numbers, the by default the output will be zero, right? And let's try to uh, print the value for result. So we'll say obj dot result. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating the object of add and then assigning the value of assigning the value 5 to num1 and 4 to num2 and then we are printing the value of result. Now if I run this code obviously we are not calling this method called as sum so the output should be 0 right. So if I run this code take some time yeah and the output is zero is because we have not called this sum so default value for result will be zero even if you remove this zero it will give the same output is because result is a instance variable and the value for instance variable by default if it if it is int it will be zero okay we don't have any garbage value like in c programming so it's the value will be zero but since i want to add those two numbers what we need to do is we need to say it is obj dot we need to call a method called as sum so once you call sum it will add those two numbers and then you will be getting output as result or the output as a 9 so if I run this code see the output is 9 right so uh, in future if you got a client and he says I need an object in which I can add two numbers you can very uh, proudly you can give this object called as obj so let's say uh, you get you got a client who asked you about an object which can add two numbers. You, you have given this obj. But let's say after one year he come back to you and say, okay, I, I need one more object or I need one object in which I need two features. One will be add and second will be subtract. But the problem is you cannot make changes to this class is because uh, maybe uh, this class is created by someone else and that program is not available now and you don't have you don't even have a code of this what you have is dot class file so that means you cannot make changes in this class so obviously you have to create a new class called as add sub in which you'll be having two features one is addition and a subtraction so the, what i mean by that is i need, uh, first i need three uh, two three variables we'll say num1 num2 and result okay and then the, in this, we'll say public void. I need two features. One is sum and I need public void sub. So in sum, I will add two numbers and in sub will subtract two numbers. Okay, now how to implement? We'll say it is result equal to num1 plus num2. And here we'll say result equal to it is num1 minus num2. So now we have two methods in which I, uh, in first I will add two numbers, in second I will subtract two numbers. Now if I want to use those two features, instead of creating object of add, we need to create object of sub and same goes here, we need to create object of sub. right? And then we can call both the methods, we can say, 
So we'll first what we'll do is we'll calculate sum, we'll print it, and then again we'll call obj dot sub, and then we can print that data. So we'll say it's obj dot result, and the output we're expecting here is one should be uh, the first output should be nine, and second output should be one, right? Yeah, so you got the output. But the problem is, if you can see, we have created a class in which I have two, met two methods. But don't you think we have our method sum already? We have already declared these variables. So why to do this thing again? What if this features or this uh, members, which is variable and method, if it directly comes from this class? And is that possible because of something called as inheritance. Now how to use inheritance? We can simply use a keyword called as extends add. So all the features of add, all the non-private features of the add class will come to this add sub and you can use sum and num1. You can see there are no errors and still we are able to call this sum. Uh, anyways, we don't have sum in add sub, right? It is, it is calling that sum from add method because add sub extends add. So if I run this code now, the output is 9.1 and this type of inheritance is called as sim, sing, single level single level inheritance okay simple right and in the next video we'll talk about uh, multi-level and multiple inheritance in java